Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well and thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. You guys, I've, I'm a woman of very little words today. I um, am still going through, you know, my stuff, my ish, and I'm still uh, going through emotions, you know, and it's unfortunate that I'm going through it during a time of a challenge that I really uh, didn't want to mess up. And hence the reason why I am on here today is because I didn't want another day to go by without me putting up a video. Because I, I just want to encourage anybody that's out there that has gone through something extremely devastating, something that's brought you to your knees in tears, honey, in tears. If something has done that to you and you um, can't find it in your spirit to get up, and move on you're gonna have to try and find a way to shake that off you know you're gonna have to try and way try and find a way to shake it off and push on and this is why even though I, I am a woman of very little words I just wanted to say that today I have nothing to upload but um, these stretches that I wanted to share and um, that's about it because if I talk too long I'll end up going into my feelings and end up releasing energy that doesn't need to be released right now and i know that part of this is about the energy that is on the planet that is making me feel extra low you know <clears throat> but um it's unfortunate i the challenge you know you never want to when you set something out to do for yourself you never want to give up you never want to give up the old me probably would have receiving you know devastating news or something that is extremely heartbreaking yes i would have yes i would have but now it's different it's different you have to keep going no matter what i no matter what you've got to pick yourself up and uh, keep going and i'm going to explain to you guys how i i process things right um there's a way where you can process things to get you back on track and this is what i'm doing and i had to take these couple of days to do that so the video that i'm about to show you now is uh just me oh and by the way i yeah i'm gonna combine those videos if anybody was watching this detoxing journey i'm gonna combine the three days i hadn't missed a beat but you know I'll tell you what I did wrong at the end of this detox, but I hadn't missed a beat with all the other things, the, the uh, uh, dry brushing, trampoline, the juicing, hadn't skipped a beat. It's my juice for today. But anywho, I'll combine all that tomorrow, and I, I will be a woman of very little words tomorrow too. I just wanted to not miss any more because I promised myself I will upload and continue to push on. And and this day couldn't have gone by without me saying something. You know what I'm saying? So here it is. Um, what I found was, I just thought I'd put this out there since I didn't create anything today. Um, during my stretches, you know, there was a stretch challenge that I did, and I sucked ass. I, I was horrible at it. Um, I didn't, uh, I, in fact, it seems as if my limberness got worse. It, it seemed like my body got more acidic, and it did. The more acidic my body got, the more tight and stiffened my muscles were. And, and it made absolutely no sense for me to put up any videos when I hadn't had any improvement. But the good thing is, and I can smile about it because I'm so excited, I was very frustrated stretching every single day and not seeing any progress. So I was like, what the hell? I'm not putting anything up. There's no progress. But now I have progress. And it's because I eliminated the toxins, not all, but uh, quite a few in order for me to make a little bit of a leadway in being limber and seeing some progress in my stretching and i'm very excited very pleased this is a very dark video it um you can barely see me so uh bear with me i'm just documenting my progress and if you knew the stretches that i did prior to you see a little bit of progress too but um yeah it's because i eliminated acidosis 
some acidosis and you can tell the big difference. You can tell a huge difference releasing acidosis. I will talk about that later, but I'm so excited. So I'm going to put this video up and share this on my channel because it's a part of my journey. So even though I'm a woman of very little words today, I want to encourage somebody to get up out of their stupor. If I can do it with de receiving devastating news, you can do it. Receiving devastating news, shake it off, find a way to process it, and I'll tell you how I process it. Maybe it can help you. And um, we got to keep moving. Times are serious on this planet, and it's no time for distractions. It's no time for pity parties. You know what I'm saying? I am not a victim, and neither are you. So we got to keep it, keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right. I love you guys. See you. Talk to you tomorrow.
Something about you It's like an addiction hit me with you You're so perfect